Well, lovely good morning to you team. A new day hath dawn, and like I said yesterday, it's probably the last amount of light, the well, last amount of good days we're going to get. So let's see what we can make done today. I'd love to get the uh, glass house put up and <laughs> at least covered in, but here's what we got up to yesterday. Night, I dug out the last of the, well, what I thought was the last of the dirt, and placed the pallets down in where I thought they'd gonna go. And it looks like I didn't quite get all the dirt that I needed to get. Because I think I made it flush up that side, but we're just a bit short, and you can see how it's a bit elevated over here. So I might have to dig out a little bit more of a trench so I can get the pallets to both fit. Um, I knocked the bottoms of the pallets off yesterday so I can get some more planks to put over the top and that'll help with um, walking around on it once it's in place because there's no use having planks on the bottom if, uh, if um, they're not going to be, if there's holes on the top to be trodden on. So, the plan is going to dig a little bit more dirt out from this side and make sure that the we'll get the pallets to fit in. Chop this dodgy pallet in half um, and fill that hole in the center with the half pallet. Should be good. Should be good. Then when we've got them all to measure out nice and flat, we'll throw some weed matting back in so that we don't get any pesky weeds coming up through the thing and destroying itself. Um, and yeah, then I guess I'll give you an update from there when we put the pallets back in over that. All right, let's have a bit of breakfast and get started. As we slow this down for a sec, I'm just going to show you what we're going to do with this last pallet that we mentioned we're going to chop. So here we go. We're going to chop through the middle, there, there, and there. Put one side or the far side, put the other side, the near side, and it should fit. <laughs> but we'll figure that out. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that and go from there. <laughs> Um, looking around, do I have my saw? No. Let's go get the saw. Come on. <laughs> Good, got our saw. <laughs> and, got the gloves as well. It is always important when you're working with wood or sharp things to wear your heavy duty gloves because Nobody likes splinters. Well, you don't like splinters. You don't like splinters. Nobody likes them because they're painful and they've also got some sharp nails in this part too. So, wear your heavy gloves. Wear them. And you're going to have a better time. So, let's chop this pallet. All right, team, so here's where we're at. We've put the pallets down, put a couple of planks through, just to sort of cover up where the walk, main walkway is gonna be, which is through the guts of the, the thing. Dug out that little bit more. It seems to all fit very well. It's, I can't imagine it being particularly level, but in the grand scheme of things, I just want it to be flat. Um, and, by eyeball, it seems all right. Well, at least seems in line with the rest of the garden bed, number two. So, 
as we step around on it, there's a couple of planks that are wobbly, of course, because I haven't nailed them down yet. But, all in all, pretty proud of it. And the next step is to take it all back up, cover it in some weed mat all across, um, and then put these back on top. Next step will be to finally put together the frame of this this greenhouse which is the job but uh, I'd much rather have the base where it's sitting prepared so I don't have to pull it all apart again and find out it's all wobbly so that's where we're up to and it's a nice little walking bed that's not going to sink anymore um, yes that's where we're up to and we'll check in again when I've uh, finished up weed matting cool That was a fun morning of <laughs> doing some more ground prep work, but we're back in the lab and we're going to sort out what the frame for our base looks like uh, so we can build from there and have that set around where we've just prepped the ground at site. So let's take a look at instructions. We've got our instructions here. Remember that's what we're supposed to build? <laughs> yep. All the parts numbers. So, step one, this is the plan, we've got to get number one, number two, number two A is for the middle, uh, number three and number four I think join like old mate says up here, and then we fix together with some number 38s, and whatever piece that is. Uh, oh, there we go, number 32. That's what that piece is. Um, and don't forget the screws, 39. Rightio. Let's pull them out and arrange them in place at site. And, yeah, let's see what they look like. Good stuff. Right, so I've emptied out all the screws in that little bag. To my amazement... I found another little bag of silver ones. Woo! And to my excitement, or lack of, I've got all of them pretty much as hex heads. So, Alan Key lovers rejoice. All right. So I've got a bunch of long screws, a bunch of tiny screws, a few medium screws, and a few nuts. Yeah, we got a few nuts. <laughs> um, and the rest of these look like they're all bits of fun and they're all covered in oil what a thrill um, alright so let's get these corner bits out to site and put them together with screws number 38 and 39 which are the, mean, uh, the shorts and the longs Okay. Oh no. The 38s. Okay. So the 38s attach between the rails, or between the joiny bits, and the 39s go through the tops of the joiny bits, of the plasticky ones. Alright, that sounds good. Let's get into it. Alright team, time to stop and have a bit of a lunch break. 
but this is what we've gotten done this morning. We've got now pallets all measured out, got sitting nicely, take them out, weed matted, put the pallets back in. They're not super flat, but that's what they'll, that's okay, I guess. I guess they'll flatten themselves out over time with the dirt shifting. And put our frame together for the base. So uh, it wasn't too far off with my post markings out and measurements. Uh, it's not all that bad. And it looks like they'll sit nicely inside the pallets. So if I can get that level over time, well, it'll level itself out eventually, I guess, with the weight of the greenhouse. Um, and now those planks back in, the ones that are floating and free, we'll get those put back together. Um, so we've got a nice sort of level walking track. Um, the eventual plan is to put some rubber over the top of that. So we've got a nice flat surface rather than just walking on beams, which you've seen me precariously do over the last couple of hours. Um, Yep, so I've started putting the screws through the bottom of it and that's all screwed up and into place. Long screws for the inside, short screws for the outside just like the book says and we'll come back after lunch to build some more. But good progress this morning, pretty happy with it. So we're back after lunch, there's been a bit of a cold change move through but we're going to see if we can get all this put together, the frame built, because we've got our base done now, and go from there. So we're gonna move on to, uh, here we go, uh, page number six of assembly instructions. <laughs> page number six is uh, attach Piece number five, have to the sides, and part number 12 and 13 to the middle of the front bit. Alright, so part number five, let's have a look. As you can see, this is aluminium. Tad already had a bit of a donk in it. We'll sort of pry that open when we need to use it. Um, but these slide into those tops, corners of those uh, number 32 pieces that we put in the corner. And looks like they screw in with our tiny screws here. So that's all well and good. Alright, let's get to it. So the next part is put the corner posts in. And then you should inspect your work, make sure it's all good. Are they all the same? Because this is an important part of the build, of course. And... Yeah, that's a no. <laughs> They're not all the same. Why not? Oh well. Figure it out. Go on then. What are you done, Jimmy? Oh dear. Well, pull them out. Make them all the same. Go on then. Yep. Figure it out. <laughs> Is that, is that for all of them? Alright, let's find out. Figure it. Go on then. Yep. Here's what the problem was. There's a screw hole for the bottom, but not for the top. So, since there's the screws in the bottom, you need to make sure that they line up. Go on then. <laughs> Always remember kids, use your brain when you're trying to do building. Because you don't want to stuff it up. So that wasn't the smartest idea, <laughs> but next one is to go with parts number 12 and 13 in the middle. Not entirely sure how, but it appears that we've got some slotted bits in the, in the groove to be able to screw these in. It screws number 39. Now, when I was bashing those in, the holes looked like they should have lined up with connector bit number 32, but there weren't any holes in connector number 32 to put the screws into. So, 
that leads me to think that the screw holes will be up the top rather than on the bottom of the unit. As you can see, I just flipped them up so that the screws are on the top side and not on the bottom because there was no screw holes to put into through the through the plasticky bit. Yeah. <laughs> This is this is fun. It's not as straightforward as your usual IKEA furniture guide. And that's the fun of it, I guess. <laughs> Number twelve and thirteen. Going in the middle bit. Let's go. That went well. Looks like you can start to see the size and frame of it now. Pretty happy with that. Um, next step is get part C, the sunlight panels. I haven't opened those up yet. So I've just unboxed this second box and had a look at what we're playing with. I'm playing with some sort of clear core flute material. A little bit wobbly, a little bit bendy, but we'll do the job, I think, if we need to anchor down the Greenhouse we will, but I think it'll be okay in the end. So, what parts are we? Part C. That's this one. How many have we got of them? Four, maybe. Four would make sense to me. Anyway, well, there's four of them so far. And they all have a nice plasticky lining, which we'll take off later. But for now, I think I'll leave it on while I'm putting it in, maybe. We'll figure it out. But that's the fun. Part C's will go into those slots. Part C will go into those slots next to where I've just put those uprights. And hopefully I haven't bent <laughs> Well, I know some of them came box damaged, a little bit bent in, but we can tease them out with, I think, some trusty old pliers, do the trick on that. And we'll go from there. All right, let's take a look. So you're going to come with me on this one. This is the last C panel we're going to put in. And oh, we've got a bit of a bird going on in the background. Hello, bird. So as you've seen me do so far, we're just peeling this white screen off because I don't really want it to be a white screen. Um, white screen green here. We're going to have it nice and clear to look into. I mean, I'm sure this white might be good if you wanted to have it opaque. It might keep the heat in a bit better. But I think it'll look prettier just clear like that. So, throw that in the bin. And you can see how we got these slotted grooves so far. You see me bend a couple as well back to where we had it nice and open so we could get our pieces in. Now, since I've already built this cross member framey bit, it's going to be a bit tricky to put in as you've seen. I've had to sort of shimmy them in, bend them a little bit so that they can get into place. I think it'll forgive me over time for it, but for now, we're going to try and get him slotted in as best we can with the wind. As you can tell, we've had a bit of a temperature change. And this is the rainfall I was banging on about yesterday, saying that this might 
inhibit us later on if we kept trying to do this later in the day and stretch it over a couple days. So, as you can see, it's a bit tight, so you need to finesse it in with your fingers. It won't bite you, don't stress. And now that we've got the sides in, we're gonna finesse the bottom bit so it slots into the groove. We love it when it all gets into the groove. We like getting in the groove of things here at the Moist Tasman, as you can probably guess. There you go, the front little bit and the back little bit's all slotted in. The sides might pop out every now and then, but once we get that next number 17 cross member in, it'll all stay rigid and hold into place. Now number 17, we've got a double slotted ridge with a built-in nut on the other side. I'm not entirely sure what you'd call that, locks in, whatever, I'm not sure. Shows how handy I am, not knowing the names of things. We use our tiny screw into the back to hold it in place. And from there, I'm just gonna get it started. On both sides. And then use the drill with the hex head for the rest. I can't stress enough if you've got one, use it. I couldn't bear to do all this with an Allen key without any help. If I had someone helping me out, I'd say, oh, if you're on Allen key duty, I'll put it together. <laughs> I've got it on a low setting, about four to five on the screw set. So it doesn't bend and smash up this light aluminium because it will bend and and will be compressed if you have it screwing in too tightly. We don't want that. We don't want to have that ruin our cheap little frame. <laughs> and ultimately, a light, light tightness will do the job. All right, let's, now that we've got the C's and the 17's in, let's look to see what's next. guys so don't know what we got up to my other little GoPro camera fell out of battery it teaches me for not charging it over lunch but had a bit of a fight the weather turned on me and uh, we had some casualties the back panel some parts were falling out and yeah we had a few blowovers with the wind like because that's just a giant sail, it just went bleep, straight down, and there's a little bit of corner damage. That's how it goes. Um, but being this aluminium, we should be able to put some uh, steel L brackets on it if we're ever concerned that it's going to be too shaky. But the reason why it was as shaky as it was is because these suckers weren't in yet; they had nothing to brace itself with. So these are the six and sevens that we had before that looked a bit different from the picture. I imagine that first picture was if it was like a flat top, square top, but either way, they fit in pretty nicely. And I needed a little bit of a step ladder to get to these top bits, which were F and uh, F and E, respectively. Um, so that's where we're at at the moment. I'm half so happy that that I got this side bit on because if the camera was rolling you would have had a few expletives shouted loudly. Um, yeah, so now that we're up to this stage, 
I'll double check with our friendly instruction book to see what we've got to do next. But, happily enough, the frame's coming together. It's all slowly getting there. Thanks for sticking with this. <laughs> In my mind, it's imperative that we get this done today because I've just had word that we're looking at 40k wins tonight. If we have something like that unexposed, it's just gonna not end well. So we've got the roof runner on, and just looks similar to the side beams. So that's all good to go. Um, and next, we've got to build the side frames, which is a series of 14s along the sides. 15s and 16s up the top and two 21s that run through the middle bit I guess that might turn into a louver, but we'll see all right So I've seen that parts 14 15 16 Use channel screws which are these silver bag that they supplied us with earlier now what they do is these suckers slide into the groove of 15, 14 15 16 poke out the other side and that's where you're able to use the silver nuts to be able to attach into where the holes are. I love these screws. I'm not gonna lie, I don't. But <laughs> let's put together a few and I'll show you the progress a bit later on. And here is where we're at. We've just put number 14 in place with our favorite friends, the slot screws. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a bow, a gap, whatever you want to call it. Um, probably due to a bit of that business. But, I think once we're all good to go, I'll just hammer it back into place. So the next step is pretty much to do these slats, but up on the roof grid area. I think after that, it's just paneling and a door. So... I've got my fingers crossed pretty hard that we'll get this all done this afternoon. But I'm pretty happy with today's effort so far. Let's get back into it. Disaster has struck. Skipped ahead to look and see what all my remaining pieces will fit together like. And it looks like we're missing part number 26. Which is not good. Part number 26 is the louvery bit of the roof. So I'm not sure if I've got more other parts to compensate. I haven't done the check of that, but I'm a bit concerned we don't have a part 26. Um, I don't know exactly what to do. Part 26 is a... Yeah, I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Part 26 is that one, which is a square piece that looks like it is supposed to be a pop top window. Now, if I skip ahead a little bit, let's see if we, if it had a uh, uh, slide in roof vent. Part 26 is shown in diagram. I don't have it. And then the door assembly afterwards. That's the only bit I'm missing, which is that little square bit there. 
Honestly, don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. Um, got a couple of these packing boards that it came with. I suppose they might do. Unless they are the part 26 that I'm supposed to be looking for. But they don't look like the right size. Oh dear. That is a shame. Hi. Yeah, that's what we're up to. I'm gonna put on the rest of the panels, try and make sense of it, and then we'll see how we go. Guys, it's about 8.30 on day two. Everything's gone from there. And it's all together. So, I'm going to take you out for a walk. And see what we've got. We've got... Our greenhouse. Doors are on. Walls are on. In relatively okay order. We've got a gutter that's been fixed. There's a couple of black bits to fix the end up. That'll go on tomorrow morning. Part number 26, it's a big hole in the roof, which is a bit of a shame. We'll see if we can source a replacement for that or do something different. Maybe they'll send another one out or maybe we'll have to make up our own thing pallets are inside was a shaky day the breeze picked up it's died back a little bit now but it was not a fun time when I was building that that's for sure so sorry for all the hassle that you guys never got to see but that's where we're at and it's time to call it quits tonight I'll give you a run through tomorrow.